Hey, this is Anthony from Absolute TV. You can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Simpson M50 helmet available at Revzol.com. This is the M50. Simpson is extending its line. So we know the Street Bandit, the Outlaw Bandit, you've seen the M30. These are more of those retro inspired, very simple throwback helmets using new school technology. You're typically seeing fiberglass. They're lightweight helmets. The M50 is no different. 2 pounds, 10 ounces, DOT rated, yeah, that's rock solid. Now it's going to come in around $300 and you're going to see a handful of different colors. I have the black in front of me today, gloss, black, and classic. And we look at it, it is retro inspired, removable peak, even further back than we see some of the other helmets in the line. This guy has that off-road, on-road dirt feel to it. Again, a very, very specific and distinct styles. You can see it even here on the, on the frontal chin bar. You can see it coming here along the sides, the cut ways it has a very definitive approach to what it's going for and in my opinion form is leading function at this stage of the game now if we look at it from a fit standpoint intermediate oval in its head shape so some of the other simpson helmets are going to be rounder this guy's intermediate oval i'm an intermediate oval if you look at my head a little bit longer front to back again not super long not super round right down the middle you should be just fine now i will note if you're a little bit intermediate oval, but you're a little bit on the longer side, what's going to happen is the crown of this helmet is going to start to feel a little too round for you, but you're also going to run into chin bar issues. We found that this guy comes a little bit closer than you might be expecting. It is right up in your grill. So if you're not the right head shape, if you're long and narrow, you're going to run into nose and mouth clearance issues. Keep that in mind. But again, that's what we're leading with. It's intermediate oval. Don't be long oval and buy this helmet. Now, use the size chart. Remember, we're going to ship for free over 39 bucks. And as always, I'd love it if you click our logo on the screen. Subscribe to us at Revzilla TV. Leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback on the new M50. But more importantly, step to date with all the reviews are constantly rolling out. Now, if we dive back into the helmet, remember, I told you that it's going to be fiberglass. Fiberglass composite, two pounds, 10 ounces. So again, very light, DOT, very simple. If I had one big gripe on this helmet, I would have loved to see them do some subtle venting in the brow, in the back, passively. They have it on some of their other helmets. They don't have it here. All you really have is a chin vent, but it is more of an off-road style. So you're open on the front. So whether you're wearing sunglasses or a pair of goggles, you're gonna get a ton of airflow through the middle. The other thing I don't like about this helmet, and you'll see it in a second when I flip it upside down, is that you can't remove the inner liner. Remove the cheek pads, that's great. But the inner liner, if you're really gonna sweat a lot, you're not gonna be able to pull it out and wash it. So keep that in mind for those of you who are looking at this helmet. Just note, that if you get gunky and sweaty, you're gonna stay gunky and sweaty over time. No easy way to clean this bad boy. If we look at the front here, you can see retro style visor. You can see the way that the side chin bar works together and how it comes back along the cheeks. Moving to the back, very simple, very clean. You can see that it is that intermediate oval shape. It's more of an oval, not a sphere. Again, something like the Street Bandit or the M50. The M50, I believe, is very, very round. Now, if I pull my donut over here, whoop, pull it underneath, you're gonna see the guts. Double D ring construction, very basic. What I like about this helmet is that it actually, around the $300 mark, isn't breaking the bank. And you can see, here's my cheek pad here. Again, Simpson branding, very simple. These bad boys are removable, they are adjustable. They are going to have Velcro behind them. And if we look to the inside here, there should be plenty of room if you wanna put a comm device. You can put a comm device on the side or you can do a sticky mount. So again, not a lot of hardcore complexity going on here, but, if this style works for you, it could be a good option. The next step in your journey is to click the info button on your screen, desktop or tablet, read rider reviews of the new Simpson M50. You don't have to take my word for it. And remember, we'll ship it for you over 39 bucks. And if you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at revzilla.com or 877 9455 Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us on the YouTubes. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.